Jessica will see the light and dump that pig she's married to. You can't blame her for being scared. Spike's sleek talking and shrewd in a very sick way. He knows which buttons to push to get Jessica to do whatever he wants. Yeah, but she's not happy. If she were, she wouldn't be cutting herself again. <gasps> Jessica! No, Jessica, don't do it! Is it all right if I cut up an orange? Of, of course. We just thought... I know what you thought, and I'd appreciate it if you'd both stop freaking out over me. I'm fine. No, you're not fine. Not as long as you stay with that bum. Jessica, don't you see what he's doing to you? You look as sick as you did before Rome. Jessica, we can go to the police station. We can file an abuse report against Spike. He's my husband. He loves me. Jessica, that is not love. He beats you, he threatens you, he tosses you around like a rag doll. And if you don't get away from him, he's gonna kill you. Jessica, we can help you. Uh, just get away from me, okay? I thought you were my friends. We are. That's why we're... If you're my friends, you'll let me be. I'm not pressing charges against Spike. <laughs> Do you know what an intervention is? You mean like for alcoholics and drug addicts? Same principle. You gather together friends and family of the person you're worried about. And they confront her, gently but firmly, one at a time. The idea is that maybe the group can push through the denial better than any one person can. Maybe we can all talk to Jessica and get her to see that she needs help. Well, that might work, but... I know what you're thinking. Yeah, Spike threatened to turn her in for murdering those Johns in the motels. We'll have to call his bluff. We have to do whatever we can to save Jessica's life. Hey! Is my dad around? No, but your timing couldn't be better. Well, what do you mean? What's this about? A matter of life and death. Are you sure you're okay, Mommy? You bet I am. You look sad. No, no, I'm fine. Especially now that I have my big boy here with me. I think it's time for you to scoot off to bed, though. We should want a story. I'll do that, buddy. Mommy's a little tired, okay? Mommy just wants to watch the best. Okay. I guess my fans won't take no for an answer. <laughs> Thanks, anyway. Once upon a time, there was a very nice boy named Jimmy. He lived in a lovely little house with his mother and father. blame you for not wanting to talk about what happened tonight. <laughs> All right, then let's not, okay? I just want you to know how sorry I am. Any chance you could just drop it? Okay. Chad is not having an affair. Everything is great between us. O okay, okay, what, so what happened? What, what happened? What made you realize that you were just being paranoid? Well, when Chad told me where he was tonight. Boston. Boston, why? Well, at first he told me it was to see another woman. What? But it turned out he was just kidding with me. <laughs> the other woman turned out to be this beautiful doll that he had made for me. Oh, I can't wait for you to see her. I'm very happy for you, honey. I know. It was the sweetest thing he did for me, and here I am, suspicious that he's cheating on me. I mean, I feel like such a jerk. Oh, how's the surprise with Jared going? Oh. 
terrific. So what's that hesitation in your voice? What's wrong? Okay. I, I feel horrible. Um, no matter how hard I try, I, I just can't stop thinking about Ethan. are being ridiculous. Look, look, look. I swear that I saw a man come into this room right before I knocked. Maybe you were in the bathroom and you didn't see him. But if JT isn't in there, then you got a burglar in that closet, Gwen. Ethan, I was not in the bathroom when you were knocking, okay? I know that no one came in here before you. Then there's vermin in the closet. Did he just call us vermin? Oh, well, it's better than him calling us a hearse. Ethan, no! JT! Rebecca! You liar! <sighs> Gwen, wake up. Wake up! Here, this ought to do it. Ah! <clears throat> what happened? Oh, oh, honey, sorry. The rat's out of the bag. Oh. Oh. You knew that JT and your mother were hiding in the closet, and you covered for them. There's only one reason in the world why you would do that, Gwen. To cover up all the other lies that you've told me. No, no, was no. Teresa telling the truth in Rome the whole time? Huh? Was, was Gwen the one that tipped you off about my real father? Ah, uh, well, let me think about that for a JT, minute. JT, listen! Was Gwen the woman that ruined my life or not? Yep, it uh, wasn't Teresa who told me you weren't a crane. It was Gwen. No! One minute, I think you are finally moving on with your life, Jared, and the next minute, it's like you're back where you started. Well, what is it they say? Two steps forward, one step back? Only I'm afraid in your case, it's more like one step forward and two steps back. You know, not that I can talk or anything. I mean, back when I thought Chad and I were half brother and sister, I still couldn't get him out of my head. I remember. But honey, I just want you to be careful. I don't want you to lose Jared, honey. I know, Whitney, I just, I feel like you know, the timing is off, okay? I mean, well, why do I have to be such a great guy on the heels of resolving to forget Ethan? I just, I don't want to be uh, with Jared on the rebound. You see, you call it bad timing, and I call it absolutely perfect. See, Jared is probably the only guy in the world that could actually get your mind off of Ethan, even if it's only part-time. Maybe. Look, please don't blow this. He is crazy about you. And just because he's absolutely perfect doesn't mean that you shouldn't trust him, okay? You really are gonna regret it if you let him get away. You're right. It's hopeless to think that I could ever get Ethan away from Gwen. I should just be grateful that Jared has come into my life. Who are you talking to? It's, it's just Whitney. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get off, okay? I gotta run. Me too. Good luck, okay? I just want you to be as happy as I am right now. No, 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 Ethan, this is, this is a mistake. This is just a huge misunderstanding. Oh, no, 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 no. I understand everything. I understand everything, Gwen. You've been lying to me about JT Cornell all of this time, and there's only one reason why you would have done that. Because you were the one. You were the one that leaked the real name of my father to his tabloid. And I don't know what's worse, the fact that you betrayed me or that you've been blaming Teresa this whole time. God, do you have any idea what I've put her through? Even everything I've done, it's because I love you so much. Oh, Gwen, well, you know what? Teresa has loved me, too. And all this time, she's been telling me that she was innocent, and I wouldn't believe her. I couldn't believe her. 
I told her she was lying to me because there's no way that my wife would have betrayed me like that. Well, I guess she was right, huh, Gwen? The proof is right here. Sorry about that. Ethan, look at the bright side. All right? I mean, it's not so bad to have Sam Bennett as a father. I mean, because Julian, he could be a real rat bastard. I am. God, it was never about the fact that I wasn't a crane by blood. It was the fact that someone I cared about and someone I loved went to the papers behind my back and just betrayed me. I mean, how the hell could you do that? What kind of person are you? I am the same person I have always been. I didn't want to go to the tabloids, but my stupid mother convinced me it was the only way that I could keep you from, from leaving me for Teresa. Ethan, I can't bear the thought of my life without you. Oh, well, that's really tough. I'm sorry, because guess what, sweetheart? I want a divorce. No, Ethan, Oh, please. yes, I do. Ethan, don't leave don't. me! Oh, my God, come on! Gwen, get up! Don't embarrass yourself like this. Have some dignity! Ethan, you can't leave me! Don't leave me, Ethan. Please. Please don't leave me. Gwen? Gwen? Honey, why are you telling me not to leave you? I'm not going anywhere. Oh, my God. You all right? Sit, sit up. Sit up. Whoa. I'm gonna get you some water, all right? Oh, you scared the hell out of me, Gwen. Your eyes rolled up into the back of your head and you just, you just fainted back. You feeling all right? Oh my God. I'm sorry, are you okay? Yeah, sure, what about you? I'm fine. Should've been paying more attention. No, it wasn't your fault. He swerved into our lane. Fancy. You don't have to defend me, okay? Killed us both. My mind just wasn't on my driving. Where was it then? I don't know. Well, it's been a long day, right? I'm just tired. No, let me drive, and then you can close your eyes. No, 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 I'm fine, okay? I'm gonna drop you off at your house, then I'm going straight home. I'm fine. Code 846, Crane Estate, possible 846 in progress. Did they say something about my family's place? Yeah, silent alarm has been tripped on the Crane Estate. Could be an intruder. Again? Well, hurry, Luis, the last time your mother was shot. Yeah, of before that. Just I'm sure you're safe. Did you hear something? No. You know, it was probably nothing, but I'm just gonna have a look outside. Is anybody there? Yo! My number one partner in crime. How's the little family doing this fine evening? I knew that Spike was a pig, but I thought he stopped abusing her. Well, you can tell he's been beating up on her, but there's more. She's been cutting herself again. Oh my God, are you serious? My dad is gonna rip him apart. Oh, I would love to do the same thing, but that's not the answer. Your father would go to jail for the rest of his life. Yeah, well, anyone who kills him deserves a gold medal. I know, but we have to be smarter than that. We have to turn Jessica against Spike. Good, you're here. I got someone to cover me at work. My shift finished. Anyway, what, what's going on? It's about Jessica. Spike has been beating her up. What are you talking about? He lives under my roof. I would know. We don't know where he's been doing it, but he's been doing it. And what's worse, Jessica isn't even fighting it. Um, we were just telling Kay that it looks like she's been cutting herself again, too. <sighs> Can you imagine how much she hates herself to be doing that? That's it. I'm gonna kill him. I'm going with No, 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 you can't do that. Why not? Because it won't do any good. You'll both go to jail. Imagine what that could do to Jessica. She would blame you too for her husband's death and, and she basically would be all alone in the world. You know, I wanna kill him as much as you do, but she's right. Yeah, I know. Look, I'm a cop. 
My job is to prevent violence, not create it. But I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. I don't know if that's the answer either. She's so under his spell, she will rush off to defend him. If you attack Spike, you will lose her forever. All right, so what's your idea? Well, I was thinking about a family meeting, sort of an intervention, so we can all talk to Jessica. Yeah, we've all tried individually, and she just brushes us off. So Paloma was thinking that maybe if we put up a unified front and tell her how her behavior is not only hurting her, but all of us, we'll get through to her. We've got to do something. If we let things go on the way they've been, I don't know what will happen. Yeah, but Jessica is so stubborn. You know, what if she doesn't listen to us? Then we'll have to practice tough love. We cut off all contact with Jessica unless she, she does something to help herself. Yeah, like throw that bum she's married to out in the street. Exactly. Dad? I agree with Paloma. I mean, if we don't give her a, an ultimatum and stick to it, we're, we're still enabling her. Look, we're all gonna have to tell her what we're gonna do. And then if she doesn't come around, we have to be prepared to go through with it. Uh, what's going on? We want to talk to you, Jessica. If this is about Spike, no, I this is about you and the truth. If you don't turn Spike in, you're gonna die. got some kid, you know that? <laughs> Sometimes I look at him and I can't believe how lucky we are, you know? Well, that's because he's just like his mama. Mm. <laughs> I think he takes his best traits from his daddy. <laughs> Sometimes I think how crazy it is that I almost threw all of this away. I was going to cloister myself in the convent for the rest of my life. I know, punish yourself for a sin you never even committed. Yeah, but it's over. <laughs> all of our troubles are behind us now. You better believe it. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Thank you. You did this. Does it mean you're too tired to dance? Do you want to dance right now? Yeah. It was all part of my surprise. Unless, of course, you're too exhausted from other activities. Well, I could kind of dance. Good. I, I was just going to go check out the noises in the closet, and you just passed out. Yeah, I was just feeling really lightheaded, honey. Um, you know, I didn't have any lunch, so it might have been a blood sugar thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. I'll, then I'll get you something to eat downstairs. Okay. Oh, would you stop it? Come on, I'm trying to hear. What was that? I swear to God, there's something coming from inside the closet. <laughs> I'm gonna check that out. I don't know what it is, but if you got mice or rats, the front desk needs to know about it. Honey, what? Don't be silly. I mean, a hotel of this caliber would never have uh, any pests in the closet. Wouldn't you rather be safe than sorry? 
You know, if you insist, I'll just, uh, I'll check the closet myself. <laughs> Hide! Where? I wish you would have known Marty. You two would have been brothers and best friends. <laughs> this isn't the way I imagined it, but God has been good to me nonetheless. I have so much to be grateful for with you and your daddy. I have nothing to complain about. Uh, I'm not going to do this. Look, you don't get to decide. Not with the decisions you've been making so far. Leave me alone. I won't have all of you ganging up on me. This is not what we're going to do. I'm not a child, Daddy. I know what an intervention is, and I'm not up for it. That's all I have to say. Let me go now. No, you have to stay here and listen to us. Listen to what we have to say. This is ridiculous. I know you all hate my husband, but that's too bad. I love him. Uh, you love a guy who beats you up and treats you like dirt? You, you call that love? Jessica, <laughs> oh, this is rich. Like, I'm going to take relationship advice from you. One minute you're making wedding plans with Fox, and the next thing okay, I'm making out with Miguel. Okay, my personal life has absolutely nothing to do with what you're doing to yourself by staying with Spike. He's beating up on you. Thanks for nothing, friends. Jessica, is it true? Has Spike been beating you? No, of course not. But Paloma and Simone won't believe me. I'm a klutz. I always have been. You know that, Daddy. I trip and fall sometimes. Is that a crime? Jessica, look, come here. These bruises on your arm here, look, these are not from tripping and falling, Jessica. You know how I know that? Because they're in the shape of a hand, of Spike's hand. He must have been gripping you so hard that... I'm gonna kill him. Hey, hey. You touch one hair on Spike's head or and you I'll... will do what? Cut yourself? You're already doing it. It can't get much worse. Leave me alone, all of you. No way. We love you, Jess. We're just trying to help you. Jessica, we care about you. That's what this is all about. All your mom and I ever wanted was for you and Kay to be safe and happy. Yeah, well, worry about your own relationships, Dad. At least I know how to hold on to Spike, something you couldn't do with Mom. Maybe not. But no matter how hurt or angry or disappointed I was in the way things turned out, I never lifted a hand to her. No real man ever touches a woman or hurts her physically, especially if he claims he loves her. He does love me. Jessica. He cares about me. He, pr he protects me. By knocking you around so hard, you're black and blue? Even you have to see that that's no way to live. All I see are a bunch of nosy people butting into my personal life. Leave one, me and Spike alone. Look, one of the requirements that I stipulated when you guys came to live here under my roof was that he was going to get a job, a real job. He's tried, but nobody wants to hire him. Hattie tried to get you to go back out on the streets to sleep with other men? Of course not. I mean, he feels awful about that. He was desperate. No, you're the one who's desperate. Desperate to defend the indefensible. He doesn't care about you, Jessica. He's a creep and a bum, and you deserve so much better. Stop it! All of you! I know he loves me. Jessica, look. It this isn't love, okay? You, look, you have, to, you have to get rid of him before you, you can save yourself. This is about your life. Mm. Forget it. Jessica, listen to your brother. I can't arrest Spike unless you back me up on the charges. Sweetheart, just tell me the truth. Tell me what he's been doing to you. I don't know what you're talking about. You're wasting your time. And you are wasting your life every day that you stay with him. Come on, Jess, just be honest about it. It's more important that you admit it to yourself than that you admit it to all of us. Mm. Do what you know in your heart is right. 
do it before he hurts you so bad that there's no coming back. Do it before he kills you. Jessica, honey, just say it. He does hurt me. We know he does. He hurts me all the time. I'm so scared. It's okay, honey. Well, you look surprised to see me. Are you crazy or stupid? Huh? You can't keep sneaking onto the Crane estate. You're going to get nailed. It was rough for me in the past. Why should this time be any different? That's why. You're going to get busted, and Sheridan's going to figure out our connection. Well, maybe it's time that she did find out that her true blue husband ain't just so true blue after all. Spike, I'm doing your dirty work. Don't you threaten me or my wife. I love her, okay? That's so beautiful. But maybe she wouldn't love you so much if she found out that you were here under false pretenses. Now, would she, Chrissy boy? You know what? I've just about had it with you. Yeah, it's funny you say that, because that's exactly what I came here to tell you. Now, I want my money. I've told you it takes time. I can't just steal money from the crane accounts. I have to do some complicated transfers to make sure things don't point to me. I want it now. You pay up or you pay the piper. And the offshore accounts, I don't care what kind of accounts they are as long as they end in my name. You don't take me serious, do you? Hmm? I bet you will once I tell Sheridan who she's really married to. Over here? Follow me. Yeah, get out of here. You think whoever got onto the grounds is around Sheridan's cottage? Everything's quiet at the main house, so the intruder could be here. Oh, no. You think someone's broken in? Hello? Anybody home? Sheridan? Chris, we're just out. You wait here, OK? Be you too. Hey, what's the matter? Nothing. Nothing. You're sure Miles is okay, right? I mean, you look a little freaked out. No, no, not at all, baby. I'm, um, I'm probably just tired, you know? I'm no wonder, going back and forth to Boston for my surprise. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm here. You sure it's just that you're tired? Yeah. Yeah, baby, you know, we should, um, we should think about turning in, you know? Oh. What's over there on the floor, babe? Nothing, it's just a... Dust bunny, no big deal. It started to scare me for a second there. I thought it was a bug. <laughs> you know, we're gonna have to call the exterminator around here. No, baby, there's nothing to worry about, okay? okay. No mice in the closet. Well, then what was that noise we heard, huh? I don't know. <gasps> what? Did you see something? Uh, no. What is it? <clears throat> I just had a little hiccup. Why are you so jumpy? You know what? What? I really want some dinner. A dinner. I, I, just, I just would love to know where all these noises are coming from, Gwen. I swear they were coming from in our room here, so... You know what? I well, think dinner can wait. I would love for us to pick up where we left <laughs> off. Mm -hmm. That's not, what is it? Hey, wait. Mm. Is this a new nightgown? Um, it is, isn't I don't it? Know. Look, actually. Where did you get it? I've never seen it before. Okay. 
we don't have much time. So, you're gonna have to get in here and pretend like you're gonna have a sexy evening with your husband. He is never gonna buy my turning up here so quickly. Mother, he just left me at home. What, you don't have much of a choice, all right? So, uh, oh, and you should wear something sexy. I don't have anything sexy with me. <sighs> Didn't I teach you to always be prepared? wear this. I do not want to wear your necklace. Honey, get over it. Besides, it's never been worn. Oh, I think this is so old. You know, I just, I never, never think of wearing it. Uh, it's nice. I mean, I'll, I'll admit it's, it's kind of more your mother's style, but it's, it's cute. I, I like it. It's, you like it. I'm glad nice. you like it. Did you hear that? Yeah, uh, actually I did, but it's not coming from in here. You know what, it's coming from next door. Yeah. Excuse me. Did you keep it down in there? God, people can be inconsiderate, huh? Enough of that. Where are you going? We're gonna go tell them to cut it out, because this is not a brothel, right? Okay. You insist on checking that out. Oh. Huh. Oh, oh. Ow. Oh. oh, my leg is in a cramp. What the hell with your leg? You guys have 30 seconds to get out of here, both of you. Finally. Oh, as plump and firm as I remember, honey. <laughs> oh, oh. JT, <laughs> you are a charmer. What do you do? What are you monkeys in heat? Get out of here before my whole life goes up in smoke. Sorry to all of you. I don't know why I did all these things. Sweetheart, you don't have to apologize to us. But are you willing to do what it takes to make it stop? Yes. Uh, yes, that's all I want. I want it to be over. That's my girl. Jessica, we're all here to help you. In any way. Okay? I'll protect you. I will protect you too, Jessica. You know I love you, right? Give me a hug. Uh, I love you. I love I'm you too. so sorry. I know this is the worst possible timing ever. Yeah. I've got to get back to Maria, but I'm going to be right next door. Okay? I love you. Okay. Bye. Look at me. I want you to know something. Spike is never going to touch you again. He's not going to threaten you or hurt you. Okay? What are you doing to my wife? What was that for? I don't think I tell you enough how much I love you. And how happy I am that we're together raising our son. It's a dream come true for me, babe. Miles is happy to have his mama back. Think so? Are you kidding? I mean, 
He may not have the words for it yet, but the way his eyes light up when you walk into a room. I mean, hey, you got two boys in this house that love you like crazy. <laughs> oh, okay, you're squeezing me a little hard there. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm so, I, f I forget how delicate mm, you are. It's okay, I mean, you didn't break any bones or anything, I'm fine. You know, the last thing I ever want to do is hurt you. I know that. Hello? Excuse me, I'm in the room next door. Would you mind keeping it down, please? Um, if you don't keep it down, I got no problem reporting you to the manager. Thanks a lot. What's his problem? No, he needs to get a life, huh? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> get out of here, both of you! Oh, will you lighten up? I mean, I think she's adopted. She sure doesn't have your sense of fun. Well, you don't have the sense of a pineapple. Tell him I'm not fooling. <laughs> oh, JT, you are cute, but she's right. We have to get out of here before Ethan comes back. I mean, I have worked far too hard to protect my daughter's marriage to just flush it down the toilet for a quickie. Thank you. But, but, where are you going? Ethan is going to be suspicious if I don't join him. Just be gone when I get back. Jeez. Ethan, come on. What the hell is your... <sighs> Who is it, Jared? If you touch me, I don't know what will happen. Don't do anything rash. What's going on? Mother, get out of here. I mean it. This game is sick.